Welcome to Beer and Old Things Chug, a lightning fast recap of beer news that may or may not have pissed you off last week. We go back to it all over again to get you good and pissed off so you can get over it and move on to the new shit that's going to piss you off this week. I'm Sam Sly, trying to stay warm. These are the headlines. Sweetwater's opening a new location that will be focusing on wild, sour, and barrel-aged beers. Now, the location will be called The Woodlands, original, and will feature premium event and education space that will feature special tours where you could actually drink beer straight from the barrel. Hear that, kiddies? All those years you've been practicing wheezing the juice is finally paying off. Woo-woo! Polly Shore joke. Insert it there. According to an All About Beer blog post, New England-style beers are apparently hard to come by. Uh, what? Okay, guys, wherever you may fall on the scarcity kind of debate here, we can all agree that scarcity or whatever has been Three Floyd's business model forever. Quite possibly a lot of breweries I don't know about because I'm not that well-read. Also, Everyone I know that went to New England came back with at least a suitcase of beer. So our recommendation here? Be better. The Swedish microbrewery ups the scarcity model by introducing ultra-premium potato chips to go with ultra-premium Wales-grade beer. Now at 56 bucks for five measly chips, we really, really think the Swedes might be better off trying to produce better candy than they are better potato chips. Now, lastly, at least three additional articles citing legal weed as a decline in beer sales has surfaced, and this is enough to make us kind of want to call bullshit. And that said, this week's sidecar is coming from our business correspondent, the Schmalix, who is going to tell us about this exact topic. Schmalix, enlighten us. Thanks, Sam. Bart Watson, Ph.D. and chief economist of the Brewers Association, wrote an article following up on reports suggesting that beer sales were in decline due to marijuana legalization. It's super detailed. I was high as fuck reading it. But basically, Bart says, not convinced. Damn right. way better data than those other hack jobs making bold claims. Eh, So it's no surprise that these two delicious options to forget divisiveness have been pitted against each other in this country. The hop and the cannabis flower have similar bitter compounds. Mm -hmm. Very smart plant people say so. Mm -hmm. I can't pronounce their language, Mm -hmm. so you're going to have to look it up. Yes. If light beer really is in decline and weed sales go up, doesn't America win? I think so. So I say, smoke them if you got them, or fuck it, let's drink. Yeah, that's my attitude I like. What you got there, buddy? Ooh, just dive right into it. Yeah. Back to you, Sam. I don't think I want to go back to me yet. That looked pretty good. Woo. Yeah? Dank IPA. Ooh. Get you again. Get you, get you. Happy IPA. Yeah, that'll do it. Well. Thanks, Sam. Not a problem, my man. We can't agree more. In the internet world where news is probably bullshit or just people are firing shit up, it's a situation that warrants you to go out, read the article, and make the decision for yourself. Now, what a week. This week's chug is brought to you by the PRP Pepper Rye Porter by me, motherfuckers. Cheers to getting high on your own supply. Oh, yeah. Come back next week to find out what pissed you off last week.